welcome to Tatis. Today in this video, we are going to see uh, things like uh, creating a basic HTML table, right? So for that, what I have done is a uh, boiler uh, like HTML will have basic things like HTML tag will be there and body tag will be there. So and there is no head tag because we are not creating any metadata here, which is a uh, trite editor, which is given by W3 schools, which is to practice the thing at, a, at the particular instant only by, by clearing this and just by running the thing, you can see the output at the next to that. So this will help us to practice more. Uh, so we using this thing uh, instead of this, we can also use this in a notepad. We can create a HTML document like uh, you can save it with dot uh, HTML extension dot HTM. So you can run the same open the same file through the browser, then you can see the output in the web page. So, so unless that we are using this tried editor, we are giving this example, like in this example, we are going to uh, tell you that HTML table creation, like uh, how to create the basic table and what are the things you have to know while creating a basic HTML table, we are going to discuss in this video. So before getting started into this video, I want to mention one thing. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and click the bell icon below to get notified each time we upload a new video related to HTML. And we are going to upload videos related to web technologies and all CSS, Bootstrap and jQuery, all these things we are going to give in the videos. So stay tuned to our channel uh, without any delay getting started in this video. So this is HT, H2 tag is a basic HTML table we are going to see. This is the center tag which helps us to get this uh, data in the center. Without this center tag your H, H2 tag will be like that. Like it will be at the starting level. So unless like that you can have this uh, center tag so that your uh, content will be at the center of that web page. So next uh, H2 tag creating a table for any creation of table you should have this table tag which is an open and close tag. After the table you can have a uh, head, header part of the table like P head will be there and after the P head you will have P body will be there. So uh, unless T body and T head also we can create our table rows like that or else you can also use these things which helps us to uh, know the which is the header part like this, those things. T foot will be there. There is a footer part we can say. T head, T body, T foot will be there. In the T head, what we are going to do is uh, any table is nothing but a collection of rows, right? So you will have some rows in the T head. One row will be in the T head, like heading uh, table. For any table, you will have one row for the heading, right? And next records will be there. Some records. I'm going to give three records there. And next in the footer part, I'm going to have one row there. So these are the things which I have given. In next after the rows what will have means uh, for heading you will have t head like uh, for header part you will have t head so how many columns do you want in the table can be decided by this t header so how many headings do you want in your web uh, in your in our table like that so ro rows is decided by tr tag and uh, uh, he headings will be decided by th tag so now i want to have three headings there so one is of uh, name and other is of uh, gender and other is of his age. For age, I want to have one more column. So you can see I'm giving spacing to each and everything. So in the first row, in the first row, we have uh, some uh, heading like name, gender and age. You have to have same format while creating data in the table. Like TD is nothing but T data. Like uh, in the T body, what the data you are going to have. So that is nothing but TD. So I want to have three three things, right? In the each and every person, each and every record, three values should be there. Like similarly, I have to have uh, three three uh, table data for each and every person. So I'm going to give the same thing for three things. So I'm going to run this C. Some structure is not there. So for the uh, for the table structure, what we can do is we can give border for that. So border is equal to you have given three border then it will be like this. So some border is given for the table. So it is getting like table. Why this uh, table rows is getting small means you haven't given any data in that. If you given data then that will replace it or even you can decide the size of that particular thing. So what I'm going to do is uh, uh, for the first record what I'm giving is Ram. Name of the person is Ram and his gender is male and his age is 25 okay next what i am giving is raju raju is a uh, gender is of male and next is age will be uh, 29 okay and next i am giving rani and his gender is female these are the records which we are going to fed in that table like that 
so 22 age i have given ages and genders like this in the uh, footer part i haven't done anything there is no footer just we created table but no data in this we can give pd for that footer also where we have to give like uh, total uh, people total people how many three people are there so total people i have given you can see a footer sorry uh, this td tag will close in that but not here so now you can see the output so total people will be three here a uh, total people is taking one column space only it is not taking uh, the whole this is the footer part right so uh, what you can do is you can add uh, td is equal to here you can add that particular uh, row row will take this column size right so that should of call span how many column span that should take that should take three column span right so call span three will help us to make that particular thing is three column span or not you know need of one column then you can also use this call span as two so that will take two column span like this much like total is a footer part which is having this thing like that so um, like this also you can do and next uh, not only column span you can also use row span for example here gender we having raju and ramu ram has same gender so what you can do is here td you can write a row span row span of how much two rows right so two rows will have the same value so row span of two rows and you can delete the same thing from here you can see the output like see male is gender is same for both the things you can use the call row span in place of need and you can also use the column span in types of need so like this call span will be three and column span will be two or you can use three here column span will be three so this is all about this or you can also have this a uh, cell spacing and spell padding those things cell spacing is spacing between each and every cell you can see i am giving cell spacing as four like see output so each and cell have a spacing of four so not only cell spacing you can have cell padding cell padding is nothing but uh padding at level of uh, each and every cell like i have given two see some size of the uh, box will be increased so this is the uh, a total cell padding and cell uh, using so not only this you can give a bg color for the table like a background color for the table you can give as gray color or any other color you want so this will be the things for the text you want to give colors you can have to change the colors so uh, each and everything will be uh, given like having attributes you can use as your requirement so these are the basic things which you have to know this will be the heading which you have t head and also have a t body where you have a number of rows and number of columns you can mention so row span will be there and column span will be there and you can also have this uh, call group call group is one of the type which is used to group columns so you can assign different types of styles for each and every row or a unique uh, type of styles by using call span so instead of having same you can give uh, two colors two rows as one color and uh, other row will be one color like that you can give and rows also uh, coming to call we have uh, columns we have this call, uh, call group so that you can use like that so this is a basic example of basic html table you should uh, understand these things like footer part will be there and body part will be there and header part will be there for every uh, table you should have the t uh, t row that is tr uh, for heading we have th tag and td tag for td is t data t header is th so like this we can have so all about uh, uh, table basic things so these things are should be basic level for creating html table you can add uh, so many stylings further and coloring and italic stylings so all this you can do by using css and other things so that's all for today if you like this video give a big thumbs up below and share this video to your friends who are learning of web development starting with html basic things you can share this video to them that will help us to uh, practice the same uh, from the starting level so that's all for today if you like this video give a big thumbs up below and if you have any comments feel free to comment in the comment section and uh, subscribe to our channel click the bell icon to get notified each time when we upload a new video stay tuned to our videos this will help us to a lot uh, for uh, uh, your training or anything thanks for watching bye bye